My name's Mary Lou. I live in Parle in the Western Cape, and I'm a wine farmer. I was born in England, and we moved to Canada as a family in 1974. And then in 1975, we moved to Maine, just across the border into the States. When I finished university in 89, I went off and taught English in Japan for two years. And in that time, my father had bought this farm in Parle. So my last stop, I thought, before going back to America was in Parle, where I've been ever since. I never made it back to America. Yeah, wine was completely by accident. Um, I knew nothing about wine. I didn't drink wine. But after the first harvest, I got so interested in it that I joined all the Cape Wine Academy courses. I made friends with all of the winemakers in the area who taught me everything. But yeah, so I just jumped in the deep end and planted and yeah, I've never looked back. Yeah, on the farm, I do everything from driving the tractor to doing the VAT return. I've even done things like the label design and everything myself. I am like kind of a control freak to let other people do things because I want everything to be perfect. Farming in South Africa has changed so much since I first came in 1995. I mean, if I drove, I swear there were accidents because people would do a double take when they were driving by the farm because I was the one actually out driving a tractor and no women did back then. But as the years have gone on, there's more and more female winemakers. You see a lot more women out there. So it's changed so much since I first got here. I'm loud. I don't mean to be, but I am. I'm a little bit bossy, but I'm fun. I like to go out. I like to do things. Uh, I'm the type of person that I can't sit still. I've got to be doing something. My children tell me I never listen. I'm not a good listener. Uh, most important thing in life for me by far is family. Number one, having a job that you love. Um, good friends, nice food, good wine. Isn't that what everybody wants? <laughs> How I approach relationships now is I actually haven't really had many relationships because my whole life has been focusing on bringing up two girls and really they've taken up all of my time. So this is why, you know, I even considered doing something like this now is because One's in matric and is going to Stelly's next year. The other one's already at Stelly's. So for the first time, really, I'm gonna have free time to do things I wanna do. Yeah, it's, it's time that I actually put myself out there. With uh, relationships in the past, I think I've always been with somebody who's not as strong as me. And I realize now that a partnership has to be equal and it's just not going to work if it's not equal. So I wanna meet someone who, yeah, has the same interest, has the same education, has the same sort of background and we're on equal levels um, that have to be adventurous, that have to like hiking and camping and the outdoors. Uh, they'd have to make me laugh, they'd have to be fun. Someone who's just relaxed, loves life. I mean, they'd obviously have to speak English as well. 